hi you welcome to my channel my name is Jemima if you are new to this channel please don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and subscribe to this channel I will not stop begging you to subscribe so please go on and subscribe and if you are a returning subscriber you are the real deal okay so guys today we'll be talking about how to deal with rejection i already have a list written down on certain things we're going to talk about so rejection basically could be from a new job maybe your new love interest could be your friends or your family it happens quite a lot of, a lot of times so i remember when uh, i wrote an exam and i didn't get the score i felt so bad i felt so bad very very bad i cried I cried quite a lot of times and then after the first day when I saw the result and everything I know I'd walk up and down I'll just go around and then when I'm by myself I know I just kept having thoughts in my head of how you know I wasn't good enough the school didn't even want to take me they were not even interested in what I had to offer like they didn't even give me a chance they just rejected me I felt so bad <sighs> It was a time, but we're talking about rejection and how to do rejection. You need to understand why you feel rejected. So, uh, are you attached to this person or to this thing, and what kind of attachment is it? Is it a healthy attachment or is it an unhealthy attachment? You know, it is healthy when you can leave and go and come back and have the understanding that um, this person or this thing is always going to be there and you can always reach out and always have this person and this person is also always in support of you. But it is unhealthy when you feel like um, you have to hold on to it like it's your life support you can't let it go or so basically you need to understand why you are feeling rejected in the first place practice self-care and be kind to yourself i remember when i just newly lost that admission just, uh, i was brutal with myself like i was judging myself every single time i couldn't even forgive myself i'd ask myself like are you even sure you were reading or are you sure you were reading the right thing when you got into writing the exam, like, what were you thinking? Are you sure? Wait, wait, wait. Did you even submit in the first place? Or who knows? Maybe the system just logged off without you. So, you know, I just kept on going, what if, what if, what if, what if, what if, what if. I was not even kind to myself. I was seriously judging myself. And so it was really hard for me to get over that period. So for you to be able to deal with rejection and deal with it well, and okay, you need to be kind to yourself. You need to practice doing things that make you happy you need to take your mind off the situation and um, look out for better things you know you need to be compassionate in yourself you need to be kind to yourself you need to speak take time to process your emotions really um, the way you feel is really is neither good nor bad it's just how you know how to express yourself okay so take time to process your emotions let your emotions actually show some people wear emotions on your sleeve if you're one of those kind of really don't hide it okay just take time to press your emotion spend time with people you love you know there is this thing people whom you love they just have a way to make you feel loved they, they have a way to show you that they cherish you and then you just get lost in your laughter in your smile you get lost in your time so basically stay with people who you love people whom you cherish let them fill you up with your energy and let them show you how much value and how much love they also have for you this is also a very good way on how to deal with rejection it takes your mind off the present situation it makes you live in the moment you live in the present you live in the people who make you happy you don't just think about you don't think of um, what you left you don't think of the rejection you don't think of the past you just stay where you're loved if you're unable to go around people who make you happy just um, pull out some old photographs you know uh, look through your photo library maybe on your phone or anywhere you have it and just you know relieve those moments that made you happy relieve past moments and be happy just laugh you know remember things that made you laugh things that made you smile things that um, made you cry possibly and uh, just feel good about the past past good memories you know things that put a smile on your face live through those kind of memories one of the things that really helped me get over the rejection from the school was uh, I read some books and I listened to some TED talks I read a book by I think John C Maxwell um, yes I can and I would wake up every morning and look at myself and say you're good you were loved you were chosen you are smart 
you are intelligent this happened but maybe this was not for you okay things are still going to happen and they're going to, they're still going to work in your favor you're still going to get things done after all this is just the face this is just self affirmation right wake up every single morning stand in front of a mirror and say kind things to yourself say loving words to yourself tell yourself you're good you're smart this is just the face you're going to get over this it's going to take time yes but you're going to get over this tell yourself that you are bigger than what is happening this is just a condition it is just the face and you're going to pass so um, engage in healthy habits i already said to speak kindly to yourself and to be compassionate to yourself but um take yourself out do the things you love the things that set your soul on fire do things that actually put light in your eyes you know take yourself out on a date um listen to old songs take yourself to the movies go see a movie you know just do things that make you happy if you love to eat take yourself out to eat uh, maybe take yourself shopping, you know, go to a carnival, go to a festival. Just go somewhere and take your mind off the situation and just remind yourself to be happy. Is to not let rejection stop you. You need to be objective about the situation. You need to ask yourself questions like, what did I learn from this and how do I go forward? What did you learn? Did you make mistakes? Did you do something wrong that could have made you be rejected? Uh, maybe by your new love interest, maybe by your family, your friend or... Uh, wherever the rejection came from so how do you go forward what do you need to stop doing is that something that you need to implement is that something new you need to try so basically what did you learn from the situation and don't let it stop you keep on forging ahead so um, I did not let the rejection from that school stop me on the contrary I decided to try out somewhere else and that was exactly what I did and it has been good so far so I am basically going to leave you with this and that says um, life has a way of putting you in the places you need to be so you can learn the things you need to learn all right so guys so we've come to the end of this video and i hope you learned something from this video i also hope you like this video so go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you like this video and please don't forget to subscribe if you are new to this channel and don't forget to keep on coming back for more videos so guys go right on and check out this this video and check out my other videos i'll see you in the next one bye